Hey, this is Matt. Um, I was doing some preparation for uh, some advanced land navigation training uh, with a teammate, and I did. Uh, I used a technique that he hadn't seen before, uh, and he asked me to do a video on it. So, uh, just going to do a quick demonstration of that. Uh, this is a one over fifty thousand map, and I'm using a military lensatic compass, which, if we look on the graduated straight edge along the side this is also marked for 150 or 1 over 50,000 so these actually line up it's kind of nice that's one of the tools of the compass uh, there's there's some other things that are pretty cool you can actually use this to plot in case you don't have one of these handy dandy super fragile <clears throat> protractors these are really nice but they're flimsy they break and quite frankly, this little string trick, I was never really a fan of that. So this is a technique where uh, you can get distance and direction much faster than with the, with the protractor. Admittedly, using the protractor to plot points is much faster than the compass. But realistically, when out in the field, um, you lose that protractor, um, if you don't know how to use your compass, you're going to be out of luck. I'm not going to go over the plotting points with the compass. Uh, instead, I'll just do the the uh, direction, since that's primarily what he was asking for. And to do that, we have to understand the bezel ring here. So this spins. Okay, you've got the short luminous line. You've got the floating dial, which is underneath here. And you've got the luminous magnetic arrow. So if we were to line up these, it's especially handy at night when we line these two up, then we go in the direction of the travel or in direction of the compass. And that's one thing to point out. No matter which way this floating dial is turned, no matter which way the luminous magnetic arrow or the north pointing arrow, if that's how you'd prefer to, to think of it, no matter which direction that's pointing, it's always going to be north, but this is the direction of travel. We are always traveling in this direction. No matter which way the compass is pointing, if, if it's pointing this way, that's the direction of travel. Okay. So for this trick, if we, if we pick two points, for example, hilltop here, it's a 555. I'm not sure if this is feet or meters. Doesn't matter for this. In any case, it's the hilltop and that's the elevation. And let's say we want to go to hilltop elevation 547 here. Well, I'm going to set my compass down where that graduated straight edge is lined up right on those points. So you've got one right here and one right here, right up against it. Now holding that firmly, I'm going to turn this bezel until that short luminous line is as close to grid north, so lining up with these black lines going up and down the map. And you'll see that's slightly to the east. That's pretty close to grid north. That's slightly to the west. So that's probably our closest bet right there. All right, so now this is actually calibrated to tell us what the grid north, what this azimuth is from here to here. And we would do that, we would find that azimuth, keeping in mind this is grid, not magnetic. We would find out what that grid azimuth is by turning the compass until the north seeking arrow and the short luminous line are lined up. Then we're going to look under this black line called the index line. And whatever the, the degrees are directly underneath that is the direction of travel. That's your azimuth. And in this case, it looks like it's right on 300 degrees. So we know that going from hilltop 555 up to 547, we know that that is a 300 degree grid azimuth. Now we have to translate that or convert that to a magnetic azimuth. 
on this particular map and it changes with every map so don't don't get confused and think that they're all the same or that that this line is always going to be to the right of the grid north so this is grid north this is what we just lined up that luminous that short luminous line with okay just like that so this short luminous line on the map was lined up with this <clears throat> Now what we need to do to convert it to magnetic north, remembering that each click of the bezel is three degrees change. So the GM angle here is 10.5. That's right in between nine degrees and 12 degrees. So we're kind of at a, a point where we need to decide, are we gonna go three clicks or four clicks? Because what we're gonna do to go from grid, we're gonna go one, two, three, so that's nine degrees, I'm gonna go four to make it that 12 degrees, so a little bit overcompensated. So what I've just done, and, it, and in this case, because the magnetic north is to the right of grid north, I turned the bezel to the right, okay, to make that adjustment from grid to magnetic. If magnetic north had been on this side, and it was a 10.5 or 11 or 12 or whatever it was, I would go one, two, three, four to that side. So it depends on which side this magnetic north is on. So now that I've, well, now that I've jacked it up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we're, now we're back to magnetic north. So now all I have to do is turn line those two up and I look down here and see what my azimuth is and because I jacked up how many clicks I, I went it's a little bit off and it looks like it's about no that was pretty close it's about uh, 286 in this case so 286 I clicked it one too many uh, which added that three degrees, so it would have been about 289 if I hadn't clicked too far. So now we've got those. This is our direction of travel. Forget about the map. We're going, we're going to do the center hold right in front of us. We're going to turn our body until we line up those two glowing, the north seeking arrow and that luminous line, and we travel that direction. That is going to get us from Hilltop 555 to Hilltop 547. Okay, now there's a trick. That's really easy when we're looking at it like this. Maps pointed north, that's great. What happens if we wanted to go the other direction? In fact, let's say we're at, at Hilltop 582 and we want to come down to 555, all right? We have to remember that this is the direction of travel. It's always from this end to this end. That is the direction we're going. So if we're starting up here and coming down to 555, we have to flip the compass around because this is the direction of travel. So we line it up with, on that uh, graduated straight edge, we line up the two points right on it as close as we can. Okay. We clamp this down, we take that short luminous line, spin it until it's as close to grid north as we can get it. That's pretty darn close. Then because we know down here it's ten and a half to the right, I'm going to click one, two, three, four degrees, or four clicks, which is twelve degrees. So I've overcompensated just a little bit. Now to do the travel, map goes away. We, we hold this and turn, turn, turn until those two lines meet up and we travel this direction. That is our direction of travel. That's the trick. If you need to write down your degrees, you can always uh, do it grid and then convert or you can just line these up and see what it is underneath the index line. That's all I got.